This is take three on my ORCID update video, October 27th, 2018. I'm brand new to ORCID growing, but I just, I've been taking care of these for a few months now. I guess I've been growing ORCIDs for about six months. Um, I've been doing semi-hydro for less time than that. Um, and I've just found that taking pictures is tedious um, and I want more information so I'm going to start recording updates on my orchids via video and so now just one by one I'm just gonna talk about each one a little bit so this is one of my oncidiums I purchased this orchid in bulk on eBay. I got six orchids at that time for $33, including shipping. This was one of them. I'd like to think that it's doing pretty good because it's green, it's got a lot of new root growth, but my one concern is that it does seem like all my new root growth is almost growing off of dead roots. I don't know if the orchid just didn't like the switch to semi-hydra, so you can see these brown roots to the left. Those were the original roots. Those have done nothing. All of these white root, um, roots have just grown from that. And I hope it's happy, but I do think that it must have had a bit of a difficult adjustment. I'm not really sure. Let's see. Next, I got this orchid, which is obviously a Phalaenopsis, purchased from a Lund's grocery store here in Minnesota. When I got this orchid, it really had some incredible roots. They were just a bit thicker, greener than they are right now, but I do think she's still doing pretty good. She's working hard on growing this new leaf up top, which I think is looking great. All the leaves look really good. I think she is pretty happy. Let's see. Next I have another Phalaenopsis. This was another one purchased in bulk on eBay. Let's see here. Now this little leaf up top was not here at all. This is a brand new leaf. It does have some new root growth. I think she's pretty happy. It's still very small, but a nice little Phalaenopsis. I like her. Next I've got this Catlia. This was purchased also in bulk via eBay, but I got this one a little later. My brother purchased this from the same seller. It's got this new root growth. It's still pretty little. Looks like some of the older leaves are dying, but I hope that this one is going to do just fine. Let's see. Next, I've got this Oncidium. This was again from my first bulk purchase on eBay. It is yellowing a bit. I am getting a little bit concerned that there's too much yellowing, that this is maybe not, you know, just old growth ready to fall off, but I'm really not sure, I guess, to be determined. She does have some nice new root growth, so hopefully she's going to be just fine. Let's see. Next, I've got this Dendrobium. Again, purchased in bulk on eBay. I'm a little concerned I'm overwatering this one. If you see these yellow roots on top, I'm not meaning to, but I just think I need to be a little bit more conscious about letting this one dry out. And that's just what I suspect. It does have new root growth though, so hopefully all will be well. Next, I have this little guy that I obviously need to repot. Just came out and I haven't gotten around to it. I've just been soaking the roots. It is a dendrobium, a very little guy, but it does have some new root growth, so I hope that this one will be just fine as well. Next, I do have this Oncidium that I did purchase, again, via eBay in bulk. I It came with a flower spike. I am a bit concerned about it. As you can see, the top of this flower spike almost looks like hay. Um, I do have one little bulb here that I'm hoping will flower. Um, if It's been months that they've been very slowly developing, I'm not sure. And I did have one of these little buds fall off, so 
I'm a little concerned I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. I, I think maybe I let it got too, get too dry a few two times. I'm really not sure. But hopefully that one will be able to pull through. Next, I do have another Oncidium here. This one is annoying me a bit, as you can see. It's just... I need to repot it and get this one going up straight, but... It's got lots of nice new root growth. And it is a pretty big plant, um, at least from what I was purchasing on eBay. Um, so, I am very happy with this one. I just kind of would like it to be a little bit more straight, so I've got to work on that. Okay, next I have... Oops. I have this Phalaenopsis. That was also purchased in bulk on eBay. I think she's doing okay. I don't know if um, if some of these roots should be more in the Lyca, but she does have some new root growth and you can see this little leaf that's coming out. This leaf is obviously ready to go, but it won't quite fall off yet. I don't know. I think she's doing all right. And now next, one of my most special orchids, this orchid was purchased for me for my birthday from a very nice orchid nursery here in Minnesota, but it did almost nearly die a few weeks ago. I really didn't think that this orchid would make it. What happened was it was in sphagnum moss when I purchased it, but I didn't know what I was doing, soaked the sphagnum moss was not able to get it dry for, you know, over a week, maybe almost two weeks, and I do think that the roots started rotting in that time. I took it all out and repotted it here in Lyco, which it really didn't like, but now you can see I've got lots of new root growth, and I've got this nice new leaf that's coming out. The leaves in general look so much better than they did. You can see this leaf turned over. I'm not sure if that's just because of light or partially just because of how unhappy the plant was. But at least now I do think this one will make it. I am very curious what's going on that I can't see. The last time that I took it out and cut off some of the old root growth, it was just almost all rotten. I do sort of suspect that there's quite a bit of rotten growth that's still in there and that um, it's kind of just growing up here right now, but I'm not sure. I did my best last time to get off everything that I could, but just a little worried about it. Next, I actually, I think this one is an Oncidium. I don't remember right now, but this one was struggling a little bit. I could not get it with its little tiny roots here to stay in Lyca. So I have just had this out and have been watering the roots. I didn't think it was going to make it, but now I've got these new root growth, so I hope it will. Next, I have this little guy that I was so sure would die. It's still not dead. When I first got this little Vanda, it did have five leaves. Two of them fell off. It's pretty much looked exactly like this for months now. I was just waiting for it to die. However, within the past few days, I've noticed that I think there's a little nubbin coming out that I suspect... And I'm not sure if I can get the camera to focus well on it. But let's see here. Ah, there. I think you might be able to see the little nubbin. I think that might be root growth. And so I'm really hoping and I feel a little bit more confident that something could happen with that one, so. And let's see, one of my favorites for last, I do have one more Vanda. This was purchased from the second bulk order on eBay. It was just a little bit bigger than the first one that I had had. I do have new root growth. In general, this Vanda has gotten a little bit bigger. I just think she's just so cute. I like her so much and I get excited thinking about her becoming a really big plant someday, which I hope she will. And so again, this is just a brief, uh, brief update, October 27th, 2018 on my orchids. I just thought this would be a little more efficient than taking pictures and taking lots of notes. I am just growing under this uh, $35 Home Depot shop light. I do have another um, purple plant light as you can see up there as well, but I'm not really sure if that's doing anything. I just like the way it looks. All right.